With almost 500 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see Google Drive, an intuitive partner for content services, then stay tuned because here's their rewind. I'm Joanna Smith, and I picked this Rewind because my number one focus this year is replacing tedious tasks with clever solutions. And this team achieves my goal and then so much more. The talk begins with Hody Myers, a product manager on Drive. He introduces the major motivation for this team, that what we build needs to be intuitive. He says that our products should work for you without you having to understand it. And this means they need to be focused, simple, and integrated. He points out that Google Drive was created to be an intuitive home for content. Sharing, finding, accessing, these were built into the structure of our service for one major reason. You should never be bogged down by figuring out how to share a file rather than figuring out your company's big challenge. OK, so at this point, product manager Angela Hyatt Kirchhoff takes the stage to introduce how this continues to drive their team. Google Drive has a threefold purpose. Organize your information, automate mundane tasks, and distribute the work, both inside and outside your organization. So our dynamic duo is now going to move on to listing a whole bunch of new features that achieve these purposes. Let's see how fast I can summarize them all. OK. First, Angela begins with organize your information. Google Drive actually has two components, My Drive and Team Drives. Team Drives launched nearly a year ago and are transparent. Everyone in the Team Drive can see everything in the Team Drive. They're predictable. Files belong to the team drive and not to individual people, so they stay put even as your team changes over time, and they're scalable. Google made huge improvements on the backend support structure for Drive so that team drives can support huge hierarchies. So basically, team drives are great, so great that my team uses ours daily. But I understand, not everything fits into a folder structure. So now we're back over to Hody to explain how we intend to support metadata on files. And yes, yes, I know, metadata, so clunky. But he knows that too. So what we've got are categories. Files can actually have multiple categories applied to them. If you can see a file, you can see the categories attached. And if you can edit a file, you can edit the categories. Super simple. Categories are super customizable, and you can search on them. And now you can even save your search, which is a feature I'm super excited about. I'm saying super a lot. The whole thing is topped off with a live demo of categories, which is definitely worth checking out. Hody does a great job. OK, so now we're moving into automating mundane tasks. Hody explains how after a bunch of thorough research, their team realized something odd. They realized that about 80% of workflows they studied were designed around approvals which means we now have a feature called approvals. So the basic idea here is that you can request approvals from the document without emailing or moving or copying files between systems. Files are locked while requesting approvals, and unlocking a file for a new edit will cancel any existing approvals. So what they did here is they created a way to preserve collaboration and prevent confusion about versions. OK, so now we're back over to Angela, and she's here to take on distribute the work. And she has two cool talking points. First, rather than posting content on sites or intranets, it's always better to keep content where you work. So that means that content notifications sent in context become the key to distributing work among your team. And then second, to ensure collaboration is never blocked by the absence of a Google account, she introduces pin code sharing. This is a dramatic improvement over exporting and emailing a PDF, and then also over anonymous sharing and editing. Every non-Google user gets a unique pin code, which means that any modifications made will be attributed to the specific person. So these two did a fantastic job of showing off some new features in Drive while also reminding us all of what we value here on the G Suite team. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.